the Dutch general had little choice. To save the lives of innocent civilians, he accepted the German terms. But after the unconditional surrender, the Nazis bombed the city anyway. Flights of unopposed German bombers flew low over the center of Rotterdam and methodically bombed it into a heap of rubble. exhibitions of savagery the world has ever seen. Over 30,000 men, women, and children were killed in the space of 90 minutes. Though only six months before, Hitler had said, the new Reich has endeavored to continue the traditional friendship with Holland. The Dutch will not forget. Meantime, in Belgium, the whole force of Nazi Blitzkrieg had stormed across its neutral borders. The main German attack was directed at the Albert Canal Meuse River line, the anchor of which was Fort Eben a Mail, a modern and seemingly impregnable fortress. The Germans had secretly built a replica of the mighty fortress in Czechoslovakia and had rehearsed the attack until they knew every detail of the fort's construction and its every weakness. When the real attack came, it was foolproof. Parachute troops, dive bombers, plane throwers, specially trained engineer battalions, all working together as a well-trained team. They knew exactly where to cross the river.
us that this assault engineer knows exactly where to put his high explosive charge in order to destroy the blockhouse. Even a male withstood the Nazi attack exactly two days, and the German armies rolled on. Meantime, an hour and a half after the German invasion began, Allied troops crossed the French and Belgian border to meet the advancing Germans. As they raced across Belgium to take up their defense positions, they met an obstacle they hadn't counted on. Refugees. And the refugee choked roads didn't get that way by accident. The Nazis methodically bombed little towns and villages, otherwise devoid of any military value. Not so much to kill as to drive the inhabitants out onto the highways. Then, by expert machine gunning, the Nazis would herd them along in terror-stricken flight to hopelessly entangle the advancing Allied armies. Refugees used as a weapon of war, a new low in inhumanity. school today, the sign says. The children are otherwise occupied. <coughs> no, no school today. Six months before, Hitler had announced, the Reich has put forth no claim which might in any way be regarded as a threat to Belgium. The Belgians will not forget. And what about the Allies? They were convinced that the German attack on Belgium and Holland was the main thrust, and according to plan, had swung their armies like a gate into Belgium. But the attack on Belgium and Holland was only a feint. The main German attack was to be centered where the Allies least expected it, through the Ardennes forest. 
For this decisive blow, they had secretly assembled the mightiest striking force the world had ever seen, including 45,000 armored vehicles. At the same time that the Nazi armies were plunging into Holland and Belgium, this column started to move. battalions went first. They were opposed only by scattered allied patrols. cleared pathways for the tanks to follow. reached the Meuse River, two days faster than the French thought any troops could get through. By all rules, the Germans should have paused here to bring up heavy artillery before attempting to force the river. But the Nazis had a new type of artillery, dive bombers. With them, they blasted the French positions across the Meuse. With feverish haste, the Germans laid a barrage across the river with anything and everything that would shoot. concentration of firepower continued all through the night. By the following day, shock troops were able to get across the river. engineers brought up pontons and built bridges. Then, without wasting a moment, Across these bridges, the main armored force of the German military machine rolled through the sedan. 
for the all-important breakthrough into a dismayed and flat-footed France. There went the old ball game for the Allies. From here on, it was only a matter of how long. Watch the map as one of our intelligence officers explains the details of the German breakthrough. <laughs> 